Okay, everybody, welcome back to Fire Emblem Six: The Binding Blade. We have officially defeated Zephiel, the main villain of the game. The war is over, peace has been restored to Alib, and there's nothing left. And, oh, what, what's this? There's still another chapter. What? We're on chapter 23, The Ghost of Burn. Apparently, this is the part of the game that is reserved exclusively if you are getting the good ending of the game. We have gotten all of the legendary weapons, and they are now leading us to the Dragon Sanctuary, where apparently Idun the Demon Dragon is. So, without further ado, let's see what awaits us here. Nice to see you, Simpsons RS. Welcome. Ooh, new video. Nice. Burn surrendered with King Zephyr's death. The great war that shook the lands of Alib was over. However, Roy's battle was not. Roy continued to search for the Dark Priestess, who could be the deep Dark Dragon. Following the light emitted by the Divine Weapons, Roy headed for the Dragon Temple. However, waiting for Roy in front of the temple was Brenya, the one remaining Dragon Lord of Burn. She had rounded up the remaining troops and was waiting to attack Roy. A battle with the now-dead Kingdom of Burn. Roy already had a heavy heart at having to battle these ghosts. These are the people who are so loyal to Zephiel that even his death isn't going to stop them. Or maybe they're trying to kill us out of revenge for uh, Zephiel's death. You decide. And this is, looks like it's going to be a tough chapter. We got a lot of stuff being thrown at us. Oh, thank you! Yeah, that was something I'd been working on in the background for a couple months. Rewatching season one of Arthur, I was <laughs> I was recording the imagined spots. That was a fun video to do. Alright, we got Horse Slayer. Steal stuff. Axe Reaver. Great. Flux and Mend. Yeah, these guys will have all that. Axe Reaver. Is this... Oh, Killer Lance. Wyvern Lord. Yuck. Luckily, we have a lot of Dragon Slaying weapons. Okay, you got a blue gem. Interesting. Physics Staff Nosferatu. Sleep Staff. Berserk Staff. Of course, because why not? Killer Bow. Killer Bow. Brenya is apparently not a Wyvern Lord. She is a Sage. Max level with a... With a Stealable Guiding Ring. Who would I use that on? Who would I... Binding Blade? What the heck? They were so stingy with all the promotion items, and then they throw them all to you at the last few chapters. It's so dumb. Why would they do that? Okay, magic probably will not be working on Brenya. Oh, look, another sleep staff. Killer Lance, Axe Reaver, Steel Lance, yay! A lot of stealable stuff here. Uh oh, spear. I hate that killer ballista. It's okay. Milady can take care of it. Okay, this is gonna be a tough one. Got a lot of scary enemies here. <laughs> well, everyone loves Arthur, so I'm not surprised about that. Okay. Yeah, this looks like a good squad. I don't really have any regrets for that. <laughs> hey, Proximo, welcome. Oh, yes, more channel points. That's, ex that's exactly why I want everyone to join my streams. All right. Uh, let's see... Well, somebody need... Wait, hang on, Thaney... Oh, sweet! Thaney has the silver card and the member card. That's great, because as it turns out, we actually have shops on this level, and we might need to buy more stuff. Alright, uh, let's sell that Hero's Crest, because there's no point in using it for anything else. I don't think we really have anything else in storage. Oh, we got a white gem, that's right. We gotta sell that. I might actually use the purge on this level. That could be good. Um... Actually, the sleep staves might be useful as well. Do I have any killer axes? I have a severe lack of killer axes, and I don't like it. Alright. Um... I haven't seen comments from you on my last couple of videos, no. Maybe YouTube is like, you know, he comments so much that we we're letting them go through with unchecked. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Deke needs a regular weapon. Actually, nah, he just needs a silver blade. He's one of the few who can use it properly. Alright, let's just sell the Elf Fire and the Air Caliber. Hey, Mobius! Welcome! Welcome to the stream! Alright, we're definitely taking an Air Caliber, and, um... Let's go 
go Thunder. That sounds good. Elfin, you're gonna be our guy who carries stuff just because I want him to. You take that sleep staff. Take that one use Nosferatu, we're gonna be using that up. You're taking the killer bow. Will I do the compilation for all seasons or just season one? Um, all seasons is unlikely. Maybe I'll do it for the early seasons, though. Okay. I hope I have more restore staves than that. I don't. Alright. Um, hmm. Oh, wait. Elfin has a restore. Okay. Do we still have a use on the Hamurn staff, actually? We do. We can Hamurn one thing. And honestly, well, I could Hamurn. I might Hamurn, like, um, Armads. That actually might be a good idea. Oh, that's right, Fa. You don't need the vulnerabilities. That's fine. Here, take the purge because we might be using that. That should be. Oh, and take a woe dow. Why, yes, I think she does, as a matter of fact. You can keep the Slim Lance, Douglas, for the memes. Alright, Rutger. Let's give you a Silver Sword. Alright, everyone's, everyone's armed to the teeth. This looks good. We will save. And we will start, because I would love to be able to beat the game this stream. Worst case scenario, I can stream Friday, but we're beating this game this week. Chapter 23, The Ghost of Burn. Ooh, this is new music. Lord Yan, here is Idun. Please take care of her. Who the heck is this guy? What are you going to do, human? Okay, well, tch, with that attitude, doofus, I don't like you already. We will stay here and face the Aturian army one last time. Do you have the troops? The Dragon Knights scattered around the continent have all returned under our cause. Do you have a chance of victory? Our chances of winning are not high. But we are the Burn Army, the strongest force on the continent. We shall at least show them our unbending will. Will. You humans are incomprehensible to us at times. Would your will raise your chances of winning? Very well. We all have our methods of battle. He's weird. And he's showing up at the last second. Will he, will he be the final boss? <laughs> have you spread my message? Yes. Those who flee the army now will not be tried guilty of fleeing. Whether to fight or leave is up to each his own. Oh, that's nice. That was your message, General Brenya. How many still remain with us? Almost all of the troops are saying that they still wish to fight by your side. All? Our chances of victory are slim. I'm sure many of the troops have family waiting for them. They must not feel pressured to stay. We are Knights of Burn, my lady. We have no intention of bowing our heads to Etruria. I want you to expel those who are injured and those who have young children or aged parents. They must not stay here. Okay, you know, Brenya's awesome. I appreciate that. But General Brenya... That is an order. Understood? Master Roy, our troops are ready. Did the messenger return? Yes. As we suspected, the enemy has no intention of surrendering. Did you make it clear that their safety would be guaranteed if they surrender? Yes. But they said, We appreciate your offer, but we will not surrender. Why? Burn already officially surrendered. This person might understand. Princess Guinevere, do you understand why? Yes. Burn recognizes itself as being the strongest force in the Lieb. Their pride would not allow them to accept defeat without fighting. Master Roy, the enemy is advancing! We have no choice. We must fight! Merlinus, send Princess Guinevere to the back lines. No, I will stay here. 
I must listen to their calls. That is all a, a traitor like myself can do. Do we actually get her in the party? Doesn't look like it. Rats. Alright, well... We're off to do cool things. So what's at the shop? Oh, hey! They sell physics staves and restore staves! Okay, that's nice. If you want magic tomes, you're out of luck, though. Alright, we... Every last one of them. No killer weapons! Oh my gosh, they sell hand axes! Yes, please. That's wonderful. They sell javelins. Okay, what else? Uh, we don't really want silver blades. I'll take a silver sword or two, though. And I guess one silver bow for Klein in case he, he ends up breaking stuff. What is my favorite dream sequence in Arthur? I mean, that's like asking me to choose my favorite child. Oh, wait, hang on. McAfee, I don't care. I really don't. Oh, okay. Yeah, we better... <laughs> we better play more. Oh, this is where all... Uh, oh, boy, here we go. All right, we're definitely getting a killer axe for Bart, right? We'll get a killing edge. And a few killer lances. I will probably not be using most of this equipment, but... Let's head to this village. This village has none who would wish to fight. Please leave us in peace. Why did the village stay open? And why did I not get anything? Hmm? Now that's weird. There's something up with that. That is most peculiar. Lady, you can go that way. Trek, you can go there just to make sure my lady gets her support bonuses, I suppose. Okay, there's a decent... Alright, there are troops both ways. Most of my people, I think, will go up here. Also, I need to keep it... Okay, who has stealable stuff? So the boss has something stealable. Okay, guy next to the boss has something stealable, and one of the dragons does as well. And then dragon on the right. Okay. So Astol will go up this way. Lena, Sophia, we'll go this way. Klein will also go this way. So will Ellen. We got some powerhouses, and Trek will go over there as well. Oh, hey! Master Carl! Wait, that's Carl? Whoa! Carl looks very different! <laughs> He looks nice now, instead of the psychopath that he used to be. Wow. <laughs> Master Carl, this will soon become a battlefield. So I see. This place is not known to outsiders. I thought I could be free of warfare if I stayed here. What should we do? Please do not worry. I will protect the village. Thank you. We have nothing to fear with the sword saint on our side. I am just an ordinary swordsman. Rumors become larger with time, so they must not be easily trusted. But this battle seems to be bigger than I thought. Is my sister alright? I never knew you had a sister! Nobody does, because she's the hardest character to recruit in Fire Emblem 7 by far. And she super sucks. I haven't seen her in a long time, but I heard a while ago that she fell ill. 
I can only hope she's leading a peaceful life with her husband and daughter. <gasps> I'm going there with Bart Ray! Bart Ray is his brother-in-law. Oh, uh, Sips is RS, I subscribe to YouTube channels that make content that I watch very regularly. So I guess I guess it's up to you. Because the whole point of having subscribers is you've got people who regularly watch your content. Alright, that's a lot of dragons that are all heading to Sophia. Phew! Okay, hate those ballistas. That's not nice. Oh, that could have been real bad. Oh, that could have been real bad. Killer Ballista, so much for the killer part that it is 0% crit rate. Someone really should have told these guys that Zephiel died. I, maybe they already know, but eh, I don't know. Maybe I should have brought more people to the left side, because that is a very long line of... Oh, no! No! You can't attack my thief! Well, I mean, you can, but that's a jerk butt thing of you to do. I never got into the Mario and Luigi series. It always felt like it was just a diet version of Paper Mario. Alright. Oh, boy! <laughs> Carl? Bart Ray, what are you doing here? I'm currently enlisted in the Etrurian Army. I didn't expect to see you here. After traveling around the continent, I decided to settle here. I thought I could train my sword skills without being caught up in unwanted messes in a quiet place like this. I must apologize. Is it about my sister? Yes, I tried my hardest, but she didn't survive. I'm truly sorry! My weakness couldn't save her! It is not your fault. I must apologize. I couldn't be at her side when she needed me the most. I must ask you for something. What is that? I want this battle to end. I know you dislike warfare, but would you help us? I see. Yes, I will try my hardest. It's weird. I've never had Bart Ray enter a non-comedic situation, so his voice went weird. <laughs> Thanks! We have nothing to fear with such a skilled swordsman on our side. We're still not done getting new units. We have Carl! The Sword Saint, whose name is known far and wide. Didn't he used to be called the Sword Demon? He has his own Wodao. Wow, honestly, those are some impressive bases. I mean, he's level 19, but... That's cool, we get another unit at the end. Alright. Oh, sweet. Let's take out this unit. I, I don't know if his name is actually pronounced Carl. I know a lot of people call him Karel, but I've always thought his name was Carl, so I'm not stopping now. Alright. This is not the guy that has something to steal. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. Fa one shot. Ah! <laughs> Take that. Actually, I probably should have used someone, uh, Rootgerf the Worm Slayer. Oh well. Look at Fa's stats! He does very badly. I guess that's to be expected. Pfft. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> Critger returns! <laughs> oh, I love that. Nice job, Critger. How often do I stream on Fridays? Only on special occasions. I very rarely ever stream on Fridays. Oh, you've got an Axe Reaver? Oh, this is my lucky day! <laughs> Aw, yeah! 
Lance would like you to die. <laughs> okay, that's a lot of Lance units up there. That is true. Wait. I just played my music for the wrong guy. I wanted to play it for Rutger. Whoops. No, if I put Klein there, he will die. <laughs> That's not a good idea. Lelina, you can take out the Wyvern Lord. <laughs> Air Caliber is disgusted. Nice job, Lelina. <laughs> Not a great job with the level up, though. You can do better than that, sweetie. Alright, use your last Nosferatu. With Nosferatu equipped, Sophia can tank anything. However, I am wary that they might all gain up on someone like Ellen. Do -do -do. I gotta keep Klein away. Because Klein actually just will get murdered by them. I need to keep Thaney away as well. Okay, this actually... Mm. Tactical retreat. I don't have faith that Ellen will survive. Okay, yeah, you can attack Elfin. He'll dodge. Oh, uh, yep, sure enough. So they're all gonna go for Sophia. I don't like these low percent crit chances, though. No, I made Sophia too fast! <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah, I still can't get the hang of bomb hovering. Alright, here we go. We can one shot this guy. Where would we be without Sophia? That's a lot of Wyvern Riders coming our way. Oh, yeah! Get one-rounded by Lance. <laughs> and skadoosh! Who says the Steel Axe is bad? I do. It is bad. But Lance is using it well. Ah! Wow! <laughs> resisted the 30% crit, got a 3% crit. <sighs> Alright, let's wait let's wait for my heart to restart. Wow, that she could have died there. Why does everyone fain have a killer of a weapon? This is just Wyvern... <laughs> the Pit of Wyverns, part two. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, yeah, fun times. I love I love playing the randomizers. Those are, They're so fun. Lance just dodges everything. Way to go, Lance. I didn't even see the level up that he got. I'm sure it was great, though.
Nice job, Klein! A powerful bow user can really help against the Wyverns. There we go. Now I'm more accurate and have a better crit chance. I don't know, again, I don't know how much more of the game there is. I'm guessing that there's one chapter after this. Because it seems like this is entering the Dragon Sanctuary, and then the next chapter will be actually in the Dragon Sanctuary. Oh, I don't have... Oh, man. I thought Rooker had a Lance Reaver or a Worm Slayer. He doesn't. Shoot. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Darn it, you don't finish him. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, shoot. That guy only has eight... Okay, that may have been a waste of the Durandal, but I have a plan. Nice one, Deke! I'm gonna take that Durandal from you. You can have, uh... You can have a Steel Sword, but then I'll give you the Hand Axe. Now we can use Durandal on this guy! Ah! <laughs> Big brain. Really, Carl? There we go. <laughs> Carl looks exactly the same in his battle sprites, pretty much. Actually, no, he doesn't. Those are both long bullets, die, eh? Well, they won't be here for long! I'm still calling him Carl. Don't care. <laughs> he looks like a Carl! Maybe Chlorine will get a 1% crit. <laughs> or not. Rats. Here, Trek, you need you need to get in on some action as well. I hate that high ch uh, chance of getting nosferatu Let's use Silver Sword on this guy to just finish him off. How was the R for video not labeled under YouTube Kids? Because I didn't tell it to label it as YouTube Kids. R for is not explicitly only for kids, it's for all audiences, and therefore people can comment. Come on, Astol. Astol? Are you serious? Bro. Okay, hang on. Got to do some calculations. Javelin is 6 power. Okay, so I'll have 28 attack. So I'll have 21 attack. Oh wait, what about... 
he still retaliates from the javelin even if we do do that, so there's no point. Okay. Please dodge, Trek. Please dodge. Nice. There we go. There's a good boy. <laughs> that actually... That was really stupid of me. If he had gotten hit by that Nosferatu, I think Trek would have died. That was really dumb. Are you serious? That's more than a 50% chance. And I've missed all four times. What do you mean another Clanad playthrough? I've already beaten Clanad. There's nothing left for me to do in it. So the answer is no. Besides, how do you improve on perfection? Oh, come on. Really? I'll play side stories eventually, but it probably won't happen this year. I'm still technically in the middle of playing... Oh, no, wait! Shoot! That's actually really bad. Um... Got it. No, your magic stat's too bad. This is really bad. She is alone on there, and there's massive group of wyverns. Uh, Get out of there. Some would even argue that there are too many wyverns on this level. Astol, so help me if you miss this again. Thank you. There we go. More speed, that's good. dared to put me to sleep. How dare you! Here we go, Trek. Finish the job. I said finish the job, but you missed. Eh, whatever. We got back up. <laughs> Deke with a hand axe. It's just... Heroes with hand axes. Some of the best units in Fire Emblem. They're crazy. Okay, we gotta watch out for that guy, because he has the red gem that we want to steal. Put him in there, which means okay. Rescue chaining, don't mind me. Just typical, your typical Saturday morning. Do 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 do. Now those wyverns will be heading down this way. But I want to make sure I don't r go too far up, so that I get in way of the Berserk Stave. 
Never seen Space Jam, so I'll go with Who Framed Roger Rabbit. You dare to attack my queen, even though she's absolutely not my queen. Can we please just take this stupid sniper down? Thank you, milady. I appreciate it. We finally put that rescue staff to use. Ooh! Can you use killing edges now? I think you can. Yes, you can! Oh man, milady for killing edge. That's gonna be crazy. Now let's see if I regret doing that. Talk on it. You lack the power. Deke could get the job done. Welcome, Meat of Justice. Well, we're at least putting that rescue staff to use. We better not get berserked. Oh, oh. <laughs> See, I, this is why I wanted Ellen so badly to get Ariola. Get wrecked, son. You can have your thief berserked and steal the Firestone? Really? That's kind of cool. Here, take the Durandel. See? Yeah. Rutger can never quite kill the Manikeets in one hit. Deke, no problem. Rawr! <laughs> yeah. Alright, good job. Psst. Wait, if you steal the Firestone, can, um, Fa use it? That would be awesome if she could. I re you know, if I can use the Hammerin on the Divine Stone, I'm going to. I don't think I'll be able to, though. <laughs> Why did I give Trek a hammer again? Oh yeah, because it's funny. <laughs> Alright. You're the one with the Berserk, who I really want to watch. Oh, okay! That's... Way too far. I'm gonna need to kinda use. I'm probably gonna need to use the warp staff for that, aren't I? I'm gonna hammer in the warp staff. I used all three hammerns on the warp staff. A hammer and broke. It's a it's a worthy cause. Uh oh. Shoot. Actually, wait. What have I done? Trek absolutely should have taken. Uh oh. Carl might be dead. Uh, I think Carl is dead. That's okay, I wasn't going to use him long term anyways.
Well, we'll see, but I'm pretty sure he's in for some bad times. Alright, I'm definitely not going up any farther. Okay, they're not attacking Carl this far. Y you think you can kill Rootger? No way! <laughs> You're a fool, Harry Potter. Okay, never mind. I, th I think Carl is fine. No, I'll, I'll be playing Hollow Knight on Steam. Because that's how where I have it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, never mind. Why did... Why did nobody attack Carl? Carl had, was rescuing Astol, so his speed would have tanked. So I'm pretty sure they would have been able to kill him if they had tag-teamed him. I mean, I won't complain about it. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I have an idea. Let's see. Can you finish the job? Yeah, you can! What, what? I definitely should have given Bart Ray some of my many speed wings, because he definitely could have used them, but oh well. Alright. Oh shoot, I can't wake up Deke. That's okay. I won't be able to wake up Deke this turn, but that's that's fine. Cause what I really want to do is put that guy to sleep. I'm putting the guy with the Berserk Staff to sleep, so he can't Berserk me. What's my favorite moment in my Zelda randomizers? That's tough. There's so many good ones. Alright, Sealed Sword time. A.K.A. Binding Blade! Oh-ho! In yo face! Bomb Lady freezing me was pretty great. Def definitely a great one. I also just like goofing off with uh, Shaggy and JP in the multi world randomizer. Playing Where's Jeff and all that. That was funny. Good times. Oh no, I can't enter the woods? But I want to enter the woods. Doom, doom, you're our doom, you are so doomed, you're gonna die. They're like, quick, break all of his legendary weapons! <laughs> I probably should save some of my legendary weapon uses for the next chapter. Because I am out of Hamurn. 
how does that guy have a 0% crit rate with a killer lance? Oh, that's right, because Ellen has capped luck. <laughs> and the Milady support. <laughs> that's embarrassing. Killer weapon with 0% crit. There we go. It's the last sweep staff. Man, the status staves in this game have way higher hit rates than they do in Fire Emblem 7. Wait, how many sweep staffs are there over there? I thought there was only one. Oh, what the heck. It's a good thing I have two healers and a bard up here. Alright, level up for Clarine. Wow. Man, cl literally, Clarine's only redeeming quality is that she has a horse. That is it. Alright. One of you is a bro- okay. You're the stupid idiot with the sweep staff. Ariola is very cool, it's true. I mean, all the legendary weapons are pretty cool. Oh, wait, where did all the enemies go? Pfft. Is that all that's left? <laughs> Roy's just making his way up here with, like, the two cutest girls in the game. Just like, <laughs> sup, I'm, I'm doing great. <laughs> and the caught pork line is left way behind. <laughs> Roy definitely got the, the, the good the good end of the stick. Oh no! Wait, no! Oh no! Actually, maybe he won't move. Maybe he won't move. What's the score? One of my favorite sound alerts that I have. I have so many Wodows that. It, Rutger's just going to use them exclusively from this point on. Um, so I got bad news, guys. If that sniper decides to move, Sophia might die. If he gets a crit. Oh, Bolting. Burn will not lose. Even if I fall, Burn will rise back up and fight again. I mean... I guess you can attack Sophia with that, but Sophia's basically immune to magic. What episode is What's the Score from? It's from the opening of My Club Rules. That has a great opening. Yay! That guy didn't move! Alright, now how much danger do I want to put? How much danger do I want to put people in? Not much. Ha ha! Oh my gosh, that's so fun. Four blaze! I love how we defeat these fire dragons with, like, the ultimate fire magic. So should I assume that these guys just aren't going to attack me at all? First off, maybe I should question what I should do on this side. Well, that's Fire Emblem in general. It is a strategy game of trying to figure out what to do. Oh, we do have a bard.
beautiful. The druids are the most annoying part, so we'll deal with them first. Yeah. <laughs> That's not to say the snipers aren't dangerous, but I'm not as afraid of the snipers. Oh my gosh, we still have so many uses on Apocalypse. <laughs> I also want to point out that you guys are not seeing the true animation of Apocalypse. The true animation of Apocalypse is so, like, intricate that OBS can't properly render and stream it. So you guys are seeing a much simplified version of what it actually is. Like, there's a lot... The actual Apocalypse animation, there's a lot more shaking going on. It's it's awesome. Alright, we'll kill the sleeping guy with Roy. It still looks cool, but it's even cooler if you see it in the actual game. There are some things that emulators just don't know how to emulate properly. Like, uh, for example, the um, the waterfall from Mega Man uh, 2 in the Bubble Man stage. Oh no, I killed the guy with the blue gem. Oh well. I honestly, I don't need the guiding ring. <laughs> if I got the guiding ring, I could promote Ray. <laughs> OBS used to crash all the time. I mean, it still does crash fairly regularly, but I've gotten lucky recently. Actually, Simpsons RS, I think you've been my good luck charm with that. Like, ever since you started joining the streams, it hasn't been crashing. Okay, with boltings, you got 35 attack. Uh-oh. Nope. We, can't, we ain't dealing with that. Yak! No! My Star Trek! Okay, we're not getting the Guiding Ring. Ouch. Even if he had critted it, Rutger would still be alive, though. Man, Brenya doesn't have... <gasps> Goodbye, Brenya! <laughs> wow. Your majesty, now I can go to your side. Oh. Zephiel was not really worthy of your uh, <laughs> loyalty. Yay, she got speed! <laughs> she didn't need all of those speed wings that we pumped into her. <laughs> hey, you pumped yet? Actually, at this point, I'm turning off Chlorine's animations. She rarely actually ever attacks. I just use her as a heal bot. Um, I could not really tell you anything about the Madagascar franchise. To be honest. Alright, who needs the EXP? Well, <laughs> Roy does, of course. Normally I would grind for supports, but honestly, I feel like I just want to finish the game. <laughs> we have enough supports. Nice one, Roy. You got strength. That's the old Peppa Boy. That's the old Soda Pop. I will, however, grind up people's heal stages. <laughs> With Sophia's magic stat, the heal staff is basically a recover staff. Alright, nice job, everybody. This is the Dragon Temple. Is the Dark Priestess is in here? We can count on that. But something is bothering me. What? In one of the Legends of the Scouring, it is said that the Dragon Temple holds the power of the dragons. Duh! 
What does that mean? It is also said that the temple's power protects the dragon itself. What? I don't understand. This is just my estimate, but perhaps it means that the dragons inside the temple have much greater power than those on the outside. So... our tactics against the dragons until now might not work? Right. But perhaps if one worthy of using the divine weapons uses one to its fullest potential, then we might have a chance. I've been doing that for the whole game! We have no other good ideas. Alright. Then we'll choose those who have the best skill to enter the temple. Duh! Be careful who you choose. We might not be able to leave once we're inside. Okay. Sounds like a final chapter to me! Nope, chapter 24 of the Truth of the Legend. I feel like it would have said final chapter. Oh boy. Thoughts on the Shrek franchise? I mean, Shrek's fun. It's not like the best movie, but it's enjoyable. After defeating Burns' reigning troops, Roy entered the Dragon Temple. He searched for the Dark Priestess to prevent the same tragedy as the Dragon-Human Wars from happening again. Here in the Temple, Roy was to learn the truth of the legends he had always heard. What Roy was about to hear was completely different from what he had always believed to be true. Or... People be lying. Whoa! What's this place? Whoa! What's this place? Um, this seems huge. Wow, this seems huge. Oh man, we can't bring- we have to bring Fa. Not very many people are allowed to come on this level. Okay. Well, so long, Klein. <laughs> so long, Peggy Jean! I want Bart. Well, actually, I kind of want Rooker, but... Fa is awesome, but Fa can only attack six more times. Okay, well, definitely Roy. I have to take Fa. Definitely Deke. Definitely Ellen. Definitely Lelina. Definitely Elfin. Definitely Sophia. Definitely Melody. Maybe Trick? It really seemed like they were like, Make sure you take the Divine Weapons. Not Thaney. Not Lance, not Clarine. Rooker. I want Rooker. Do I want Trek? I kind of want Trek. Trek's got a pretty good sword rank, honestly. But also, we might need Bart Ray's Armad strength. Hmm. I'll try this. Okay, yeah, that's fine. You can still only use heal staves. How many people do I need on this chapter? I don't know! I've, I've never done the chapter before. Okay. You are getting a killing edge instead of that steel sword. And no, no lance, and no steel lance. We're too good for that now. You're getting a killer lance. Yeah, the time, the time is gone for all of this nonsense. Trek, we're gonna deck you out in some really good equipment. Trek the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Honestly, elixir on Trek might not be a bad idea. Right, this that's the thing about blind playthroughs. Okay. No steel sword. No light brand. The light brand sucks. I want another woe dow. Okay, Roy, give me your worm slayer. Actually, no. Astol, give me your worm slayer. And then um Fog, give me that other woe dow. A Berserk Staff, maybe? <laughs> nah. Silent Staff, maybe. Honestly, I think I'll just have him take an Elixir. We might need Elixirs on this level. There we go! We will save! And let's proceed. Do I play Zelda Randomizers off-stream? 
I play randomizers off stream occasionally, yeah. Trying to do it less, though. Trying to spend my time more productively. Chapter 24, The Truth of the Legend. This is the Dragon Temple. The air is strange. Did the eight heroes fight under such pressure as well? Would you stand before us again, humans? What? Who are you? When did you... I am Yon. I am the last remaining dragon of the Dragon Temple. Oh, really? Will you be like the final boss from Fire Emblem 7? I hope so. That was an epic final boss. The last dragon? You seem different from the other dragons. Are you the Dark Dragon? The dragons who you have been fighting with are Dwar Dragons, who know nothing but battle. And the Dark Dragon is something completely different from me. I am a full-blooded dragon who fought you humans in the faraway past. Different? Wasn't the Dark Dragon supposed to be the leader of the dragons? The Dark Dragon is an object that is meant to bring hope to us dragons again. It is no leader. What? Then what is the Dark Dragon? It seems you have much to learn. Tell us! What is the Dark Dragon? We... I have to fully understand my enemy before I fight. Well, I have no reason to tell you. And yet, I have no reason not to tell you. What should I do? Alright. I shall test you to see if you are worthy of hearing the truth. I am deep inside the temple. Fend off our attacks and come to me. Then I shall explain everything. But you're right here! What you are seeing is just an illusion. If you wish to know the truth, then come to me. If you prove yourself worthy of my time, then you shall hear it all. Yan looks cool, but... Oh! New map music! I mean, we just have dragons. So, so far, so good. Guessing the guy on the throne ain't gonna move. <laughs> Out of my way. I got places to be, things to see. Here we go. Wait, is it? This Sunday's Easter? How did I not know this? I really need to start paying more attention. Oh, well, I mean, Easter's great. Jesus rose on, not actually that day, but close enough. We celebrate it. It's fun. I like getting together with my family. Oh, shoot. I should probably contact my mom, because I bet we're doing something as a family. Hey, dragons, meet the apocalypse. I do wonder why it's, like, the Christian holidays that constantly are getting, like, super commercialized. Like, first it was Christmas, now it's Easter. Like, you don't hear about people massively over-commercializing, like, Ramadan. It's not like, oh, <laughs> you, you, go, you, go to the, you go to the store and boom, there's all the Ramadan uh, merchandise. <laughs> it's just, it's just interesting. Oh yeah, I've been on egg hunts. Those are fun. Wow, we actually let a Manakeet attack us. BOOM! I want to save the Binding Blade, just because I don't want that to break. We might need it for the final boss. Do I believe in the Easter button? No. I mean, like, I know how the myth of the Easter Bunny started, but... You have to understand, I'm a natural skeptic. Even back when I was a young child, I was very skeptical. So I never believed in, like, the Easter Bunny, Santa Claus, or the Tooth Fairy, or any of that. I do I believe there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? <laughs> Guess what? Rainbows can't even be traversed. They're not solid. Smell you later! Bruh. I mean, if, 
If the level is just this over and over again, then I, this should be pretty easy. Let's seize the throne. You. Are you real this time? Or... This is but the entrance. You have a long way to reach me. But you seem strong enough not to die immediately. Of course. We have gone through many hardships. So I see. Very well, I shall tell you a little about the Dark Dragon. The Dark Dragon is not the leader of the dragons, as you thought. The Dark Dragon was created to bring us a victory. Created? So it wasn't the Dark Dragon making more dragons? The dragons you speak of are correctly referred to as War Dragons. As I said before, they are different from pure dragons such as I. Indeed, the War Dragons are created by the Dark Dragon. And the Dark Dragon was created out of the Divine Dragon, the most powerful of our kind. Fa's the Divine Dragon, isn't she? Created out of the Divine Dragon? Then the Dark Dragon is actually... The Divine Dragon agreed to become the Dark Dragon? Agreed? No. We destroyed its soul so that it would follow our leader's every command. What?! We desperately needed the power of the Divine Dragon. Our entire species was at stake. You needed the power of the Divine Dragon. But... Why did you have to destroy its soul?! Why, you ask? If you want that answer, then seek me out again. I shall witness your power further. Okay, so... Fa's not the only Divine Dragon. So the Dark Dragon also used to be a Divine Dragon. Okay, more of these guys. I'm really glad I bought all these pairs of boots. It's gonna make this level really easy. <laughs> because we can outmaneuver the dragons effortlessly. Are rainbows liquid? Rainbows are optical illusions. <laughs> like, we can see them, but they're not actually tangible. Alright, uh, what should we use? Probably the apocalypse. <laughs> apocalypse is so cool! <laughs> Oh my gosh, this, this is one of those dark magic spells that I'm actually glad has a slow animation. It makes it much better. Again, it's still not quite as cool as a Rishkigal from Fire Emblem 7, but it's close second. <laughs> wow, what kind of bike is that? A two-wheeler! <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a great one. Heal your boyfriend, Lelina. <laughs> also, <laughs> a great dream sequence that I remember. One of the few great dream sequences from... I won't even say the newer of her episodes, because it was still... This, it was still, like, season 10 or something. <laughs> was like the... You've done it now, Francine Frensky! You just wasted the last drop of water in Elwood City! <laughs> oh, no. Dragons will come and chase us. It's not like we can outrun them or anything. Oh, Durandal's not enough to finish the job. But maybe Rootger if the Worm Slayer is. Alright, Malt Shop! Alright, so this is the level, like, time to use your divine weapons, kids! Oh, again, yeah. Arfur has a never-ending stream of great sound alert ideas. Sorry, are the only enemies we're facing on this chapter going to be these Manakeets? <laughs> I mean, I'm down for that, but... This will make it a very li linear chapter. I mean, I guess, it is the Dragon Sanctuary, so I suppose it makes sense. Oh wait, that's not actually going to kill. 
Oh, and it doesn't matter. Ruger dodged. Ruger's great, but also, like, if he doesn't crit, he usually doesn't finish the job. <laughs> Come on, Trek. Kill, the, kill this guy with a hand axe. Come on, Trek. Kill him with a hand axe. <laughs> we don't need no legendary weapons. We have hand axes. <laughs> Dude, what is with Trek this playthrough? I mean, again, I don't have any of our playthroughs to judge him against, but, like, what the heck? He has gotten so many ridiculous level-ups. Oh man! If I had given him the maximum amount of movement, then he would have been able to seize this turn. I like the enemy music on this level. Not bad, not bad at all. I wonder how far you will come. I want you to go on with your story. No matter how much we fought, you humans just seem to multiply endlessly. Yeah, humans are good at that. <laughs> Eventually, we began to lose because of the human sheer number. Therefore, we created the Dark Dragon that would make war dragons. If dragons are, like, basically... immortal, you'd think they would be able to have a lot more kids, but uh, I guess not. <laughs> War dragons. Dragons only meant for battle. Like, so are they not even real? Are they like Nurgle's morphs? How does that work? That is correct. But the divine dragons did not agree with us. They said it would be defying the laws of nature. As we were discussing how we could persuade the divine dragons, they suddenly disappeared. Why? They most likely left to prevent us from taking advantage of them. We could not find the divine dragons, but fortunately we were able to capture one. And that became the dark dragon? Right. And that d divine dragon, Idun, was to become the Dark Dragon. However, she felt hesitation in letting the divine dragons and us other dragons going on to bad terms. Hesitation. Such nonsense is for humans only. We have no need for it. Then that hesitation worked against you. The divine dragon we captured was still young, but we had no problem because it was good enough for our purpose. However, its heart was not with us. It would not follow our commands. So, you destroyed its heart? Exactly. We destroyed its soul to make it follow our every command. That's... terrible. That is enough for now. If you want to know more, then show me more of your power. Very first sound alert I ever added was Ansem's SUBMIT! Which is probably my favorite sound effect ever. <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> now you heard of Divine Dragons? Time for Fa! Rar! Yeah, it's official. Fa is my second favorite mana key. Murr is still number one, but Fa is a close second. Boom, 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 boom. I've noticed that Binding Blade has a lot of these chapters where it's just like, Oh, do you like long hallways? Well, here, you're in luck! Because <laughs> that's exactly what we're going to do uh, to give you. Wait, who has the Warp Staff? Oh, oh you have the Warp Staff! Well, isn't that convenient? Here, you can take this. You can t keep the gas can, putt putt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you having cake is probably m one of my favorite sound effects, but it also doesn't work as often as I would like it to. Hate that 2% crit. <laughs> Maybe we can have a truck weaken it with a hand axe! <laughs> oh, way to go, Trek! <laughs> that 
That's not easy. Trek, Trek has quite literally been one of the stars of this, uh, <laughs> this playthrough. Um, hmm. Nah, I really don't want to leave this up to the luck of the draw of a uh, low percent crit. That's funny, because I can listen to all the sound alerts, like, separately, and they all sound the same volume. In practice, I guess that's not true. <laughs> Return to darkness! <laughs> You know, we may as well just keep using the Warp Staff. I would not... <laughs> I would not actually be opposed to adding Return to Darkness as a sound alert. Yeah, sure, why not. Fa is ridiculously good, and here we go, Fa capture level. Goody! <laughs> D for discuss. Yeah, thanks for that suggestion. That was definitely a great sound alert idea. <laughs> oh my! Whoa! Why is the sealed sword doing way more damage now? That is a lot more damage than it was doing on the last level against the Manakeets. Is it because we're in the Dragon Temple or something? I don't know. Also, alright, we gotta watch out. Binding Blade is, uh, is getting low on uses. Alright. Continue your story, Jan. You have taken another step forward, but the way is still long. We shall still reach you. You have a stout heart. What do you wish to hear next? You succeeded in creating the Dark Dragon. The Dark Dragon produced the War Dragons. Then why did you still lose to the humans? Man, you suck! <laughs> Indeed, the Dark Dragon continued to produ produce War Dragons to use in the battlefield. We were able to turn the tables on the humans. However, the humans soon found out about the Dark Dragon. They concluded that their numbers would not be enough to defeat us. Therefore, they put their efforts into constructing powerful weapons that would pierce our scales. They are what you would call the Divine Weapons. The The Divine Weapons. That part is the same as our legends. The most powerful and potent were chosen out of the humans to wield the newly crafted weapons. They came and charged this temple. However, when the immense power of the weapons and our power clashed near Burn, something unexpected happened. What happened? The laws of nature started to collapse. Snow began to fall in midsummer. Stars shone in the middle of the day. Is that the ending winter? I heard that happened because you dragons unleashed too much power into the world. Is that how your legends go? The power and the divine weapons were used to restore order in nature. That's what our legends say. All of the bad things that happened are all our fault. I would have expected you humans to think like that. But the truth is what I said. Then the Divine Weapons were sealed away so as not to let such a disaster happen again. Then all those traps that protected them were to warn us. You sealed them away? That was a good decision. But they seem to be in your hands right now. Ah, thanks, Sips and RS. Do not worry. The, the weapons do not seem to have as much power as they did in the past. They are unable to bring about a disaster again. Back then they had 800 uses. The Great Disaster hurt us dragons greatly. How? The disaster was originally the reason why we lost to the humans. I shall continue when you advance a bit further. Rawr. Oh, you're you're supposed to crit. No, that's fine. Okay, you can just dodge instead. Whoop! I love how useful the Worm Slayer is in this game. Take a lesson, Fire Emblem 7. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Sophia's such a bad unit. <laughs> you were saying. <laughs> This is ridiculous. How would I make a good Fire Emblem game? Um, open maps. Uh, enemies that are tough but fair. Nothing unfair or just unfun. Like, uh, status staves. Nobody likes those. Siege tomes. Nobody likes those. Inclement weather that slows you down. Why would I want to deal with that? That kind of thing. Oh, yeah, Ellen's still way down here. Uh-oh. Don't crit, Sophia, please. Thank goodness. No ambush spawns! That's another thing. I feel like that should have just gone without saying, though. I also do need to watch the apocalypse uses. I don't want it to break. dun da da dun Oh, it still has 12 uses, never mind. <laughs> We're good. Here you go, Sophia. A physic from me to you. Here, Deke, you weaken him with the hand axe. It has been a long time since I had to redo a chapter. I think the last chapter I had to redo was um the one with Ray. Chapter 12, I think. Oh, no, 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 not what was I. <laughs> it was the side quest chapter after we got Sophia. Still, so, that was a while back, so I take that as a win. Here you go, Rutger. Have a fun time. Crit, 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 crit! Alright, yeah. <laughs> we, we're doing good. I'm glad I did not bring Bar Ray on this level, because that would have been bad. <laughs> because he did not have a pair of boots used on him. I know Bart Ray's good, but without boots, he wouldn't be able to keep up with all my other units on these long corridors. You have come here again. You are doing better than I expected. Please continue the story. When the Order of Nature collapsed, we dragons took a fatal blow. The forces of nature weakened, and it became difficult for us to retain our original dragon form. Therefore, we decided to seal our power in gemstones and take the human form instead. And that's how Manakeets became a thing. Those must be the dragon stones. Yes. Now we were utterly powerless against the humans. In human form, we were just as weak. No, even weaker than the humans. The humans took advantage of our handicap and started attacking the dragons that had taken human form. Why did you take human form? In the new order of nature, the human was the form that required the least energy to transform into. The eight heroes mercilessly crushed us, helpless in our human form. I too suffered a deep wound. Do you have hate for the humans who wounded you? Hate? Only humans have such ridiculous emotions. We battled to maintain our species, and we lost. That is all. This is not how the dragons were like in Fire Emblem 7. So, uh... I guess that's Fire Emblem 7's fault, because that takes place after... Or that was released after Fire Emblem 6, but still. However, you humans might lose this time. Some human named Zephiel brought the Dark Dragon back to life again. How? Then Zephiel did break the Dark Dragon's seal. That is correct. If you want to hear more, then show me some of your worthiness. I wish they had done more with Zephiel as a villain, because he had the potential to be like the most complex and interesting Fire Emblem villain, and then he's just, nope, he's, he's just evil. He's just a bad man. <laughs> Who's my favorite Dragon Tales character? Quetzal. He knows two languages. 
He's a well-read dragon. Also, Zack. I feel so bad for Zack. He has he has an obnoxious character like Wheezy literally attached to him. It's terrible. Like, imagine if you were a conjoined twin and the twin you were conjoined to was Wheezy. Like, kill me now, right? <laughs> Deke hasn't had a chance to shine yet. Dang, these weapons are ridiculous. Okay, I... In a way, I like... How this is like a gradual chapter where as you progress, you learn more about the story. Like, that's cool. But at the same time, we're just doing the exact same thing over and over again. Like, literally, it's the exact same thing. We go down the same hallway, we fight the same enemies, we seize the same throne. Like, they could have they could have done it a little bit better. Okay, I'm not gonna waste my last res ra la <laughs> last rescue staff. Dragon Tales was good. That was, that was my jam. Growing up. But I also acknowledge that, um, Unlike Arthur, Dragon Tales is a show that was aimed exclusively for kids, and it's very difficult to watch if you are older. I mean, the answer is yes. Fire Emblem 6 does get repetitive after a while, because, I mean, well, look what's happened. Alright. Eat my Malt Chop. Oh, wow, Malt Chop actually doesn't kill in one hit, even with Trek support. Should've used the Hand Axe first. Do I like anime? No. My sister has shown me... Or I... I have not even shown me. I have watched some anime with my sister. It's multiple different types, and uh, I don't like it. It's too screamy. Oh, shh. <laughs> I don't even need... I don't even need Apocalypse! Sophia is good enough to just kill a, ma a Manakeet with a Flux. <laughs> Wow. Whoa! Really? <laughs> Alright, well, I mean, I guess they're bound to get that eventually. Now I will rescue uh, Roy. No, my rescue staff broke. Such a shame. Is there a show that both me and Marty like? I mean, not an anime that we both like, but we both love Arthur. We both love Magic School Bus. We both love Liberty's Kids. There's a lot of shows we both like. Phineas and Ferb. Uh, uh, <laughs> That's usually the typical Roy level up, but you know what? He also got strength, so I, I am happy. <laughs> this is a lot of dragons. Oh my gosh! Melina! <laughs> this deals over 170 damage! <laughs> That's 177 damage with one attack. That's nuts. Oh, Liberty's Kids was so good! It was a show that taught um, the history of the U.S. Revolutionary War, and it was crazy good. Like, crazy good. Yan, I know you're there. Hmm. It seems that you did indeed defeat Zephiel. You might make it far enough to be able to fight me. What relation did the Dark Dragon have to Zephiel? You know that the founder of Burn is the Hartmut. The Hartmut? <laughs> you mean Hartmut. The leader of the Eight Heroes, do you not? I know that. Then do you know that Hartmut didn't kill the Dark Dragon, but only sealed it away? I know. But I still don't know why he did that. Hmm, I see. The Eight Heroes eventually defeated our leader, and they made their way deep into the temple to find the Dark Dragon. 
However, when they arrived at the Dark Dragon's chamber, all they saw was a human girl looking off into space. It was Idun. They didn't fight. The Dark Dragon had its soul destroyed to follow our humans, our leader's commands. Since our leader had been killed, there were no further commands to follow. Then what happened to the Dark Dragon? The eight heroes naturally hesitated. They had expected to see the most powerful dragon, but all they saw was a girl who wouldn't respond even if spoken to. But the Dark Dragon still must be defeated, so the eight heroes prepared for battle. The girl must then have reacted to their attack. She changed into the Dark Dragon and fought back, just like the War Dragons who have no heart. Hartmut then used a blade stronger than the Divine Weapons and slashed at the Dark Dragon's scales. The Sword of Seals! I don't know what you humans call it, but that must be it. Anyway, when the sword cut through the Dark Dragon's flesh, it suddenly fell unconscious. It didn't die? Yes, apparently the sword reacted to its wielder's feelings and changed its power accordingly. So Hartmut didn't want to kill it. So, the Binding Blade reacted to his emotions and only knocked the Dark Dragon unconscious? I understand that Hartman did know a little bit about the Dark Dragon. And then seeing her as the little girl I do, he must have felt pity for her. It is another emotion that we dragons cannot comprehend. This is BS. The dragons in Fire Emblem 7 absolutely could. <sighs> pity. I think you're just the weird one, Jan. I think you're just a psychopath. Darn it, you found me out! And thus, at the bottom of his heart, he didn't want to kill her. In my opinion, I would never leave something that would be a danger to me alive. So Hartmut's heart changed the sword's strength. Hartmut persuaded his comrades and decided to seal the Dark Dragon. He built a temple deep in the forests of Bird and sealed Idun away using the sword and a gemstone. They are what you call the Binding Blade and the Fire Emblem. He then created a nation near the temple that would watch over and protect the seal from being broken. They are the ancestors of Zephiel. How do you know all this? Were you watching? No. I had been deeply wounded, so I was leading a hidden life, healing myself. I heard the story about the seal from Zephiel. Although he said that he read it in the ancient scrolls that are kept in the court library. How did you meet Zephiel? With him? Hmm. If you reach me, I will tell you. It is not far now. Yeah, this definitely feels like we're ramping up to the end. So he must be there, in that last temple. Oh hey, these guys have- that guy's an elixir we can steal. If we had a thief. If there was a baby here! <laughs> Do I really- <laughs> Here you go, my lady. Um, I have not- Little Critter. Ugh, it sounds familiar. Can't put my finger on it, though. Oh, Sophia can't quite reach. Okay, Lelina, you can survive one attack from a dragon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For Blaze! Ah, uh, Mercer Mayor. Okay, I've probably seen them, but I don't think I've read them. I was not a fan of Mercer Mayor. His art style was a little freaky to me as a kid. I wish I got more EXP. All my units are, like, close to capping their level, but they're not capped yet. I want them all! Oh, is that what those are called? So, like, j oh, just my grandma and me, just my mom and me. Those kind of books? Okay, yeah, I, I have read some of those. You don't know how we'll fit this all in one stream? Oh, uh, it's fine. We're actually only slightly over my usual hour and a half stream time, so we're, we're actually making pretty good time, chapter-wise. Okay, this guy's a little tougher. Oh wow, that guy has good avoid. 
I know he's on a throne, but still. Haha! <laughs> you can't survive the power of the black hole! <laughs> Imagine having, like, a magic spell that literally just creates a black hole to obliterate the character. Gotta physic you up. <laughs> so long, Manikeed! I really hope Yawn is, like... So, Yan is basically like, I'm the last true dragon and all these guys are mannequins. Maybe Yan will be like the, uh, the dragon from Fire Emblem 7, who is still my favorite final boss from a Fire Emblem game. <laughs> Yay, you got defense, Valina! All of your stats are in the double digits now! Sweet! Oh yeah, I think you're right. That... I can't remember either. Oh man, Roy just can't barely can't reach. Now Ellen's getting left behind. <laughs> left below. <laughs> Alright, finish your story. You have come far. I am in the chamber right in front of you. It has been long since I last met humans in my true form. I have not left this place ever since the war. You... you were always here? Oh man, it's like me and my condo. <laughs> One thousand years. Having survived the scouring, I waited, healing my wounds in the process. I waited for the resurrection of the Dark Dragon that would bring hope to us dragons again. And that time came. The Dark Dragon's seal was broken and I felt power flowing through my veins again. How does the Dark Dragon's seal being broken make your strength recover? The Dragon Temple's power depends on the Dark Dragon's, and thus the Divine Dragon's power. If the Dark Dragon were to be sealed, then there is no way I could have recovered to my full strength by using the Temple's power. I see. After my strength fully recovered, I set out to look for the person who had broken the seal. I used my illusion to search him out and ask his intentions. I did not wish to go outside in my true form, knowing that you humans now ran the world. Wait. I thought that dragons in their human form lost most of their powers. Then how are you creating this illusion? This temple is for the dragons. It is the only place that dragons can use a little of their power even when in human form. I am a fairly powerful dragon. Even in human form, as long as I stay in the temple, creating illusions is easy. Why are you the only dragon with this power? Still, I would not be able to create actual fiends like the Dark Dragon can. So you found Zephiel. Right. I found Zephiel and asked him, Why did you break the Dark Dragon's seal? Actually, I think you asked him, Why did you summon a demon dragon? Zephiel was an odd man. He didn't seem to be the least bit surprised. He looked at me right back in the eye and asked me who I was. After I told him that I was a dragon, he started to smile mysteriously. <laughs> That's the end of Fire Emblem 7. <laughs> he then said, My intentions are to give the world, the, the world, to your kind. He had a stutter, as so many people in this game do. I cannot say that I fully trusted him, but he was still the Dark Dragon's new master, so I decided to work with him. Zephiel then ordered the Dark Dragon to lead the world in the place of foolish humans. But Zephiel is dead. What is the Dark Dragon doing now? Although he is gone, the Dark Dragon resides in the chamber behind me. She is waiting for the chance to free the world. But her master is gone! Are you her new master? I did not need to become her master. She was commanded to carry out Zephiel's orders even if he were to die. Idun has absolute obedience to her master. She will make sure that humans are banished from this land. What? Her heart was destroyed, and now she's bound to orders given by a person long dead? He only died yesterday, doofus. Do you feel pity, like Hartlet did? You humans are truly difficult to understand. But let me tell you this. No matter how hard you try, humans and dragons will never be able to live in harmony. Ah, uh, Sophia is living proof that that's not true- SHUT UP! <laughs> the gap between species is impossible to fill. That's not true! 
I know a place where dragons and humans are living together. Dragons and humans were both brought into the same world. They can and will understand each other. And and your canon of Roy is also living proof of that! Ah! <laughs> dragons and humans living together in harmony? Rubbish, said Sir Topham Hat. I have no intention of listening to such nonsense. Now enter my domain. Let us see who has more power. Is there anything from The Simpsons I do remember? I've only seen a little bit of The Simpsons as an adult. Some of it's funny. There we go, here's Jan. I mean, he just looks like a manikeet like all the others. I hope there's something cool, a dragon keeping the dragon temple. I hope there's more to Jan than just him being another manikeet. That would be a little disappointing. Here you go, Fa. <laughs> Oh man, should we, who should we, guys, okay, who should we kill Jan with? Right now I'm thinking we should kill Jan with Roy, Sophia, or Fa. Roy, okay, yeah, Roy's a pretty obvious choice. <laughs> or Star Trek! Also, it might depend on if who's actually able to damage him. It could be, it's like, oh, he's just like invincible. You know, this would be a lot scarier if Manikeets had more than five movement, and I hadn't given a pair of boots to all of my characters. <laughs> How many uses do you have? Four uses left on your demo. Okay. We should be careful, then. Let's let Kritger get some more glory. Aha! Uh -huh. I love how they're like, only the divine weapons will be able to help. Oh, and Worm Slayers. <laughs> Okay, alright, this could be good. Well, I should deal with the other Manikeets in the room before warping Roy in there. Shrek can live with one HP missing. I don't need to waste a physics staff for that. <laughs> the dragons are just running a marathon back there. Don't mind them. It's perfectly fine. Yeah, just so you guys know, my units are not normally supposed to be able to move this far. It's only because of all the boots I bought at the secret shop. How do I feel about Disney making all these live-action remakes? I think that accurately sums it up. I have not seen any of them, nor am I ever going to see any of them. I'm not giving Disney... <laughs> I'm not giving Disney a dime of my money to remake movies that they've already made, but worse. <laughs> oh, alright, alright. Sorry, but... I had I had to express my feelings in the only way I knew how. Oh, we just can't barely can't. Oh, but we. <laughs> hey, this is my stream, so we're gonna do it my way. <laughs> I am supreme dictator of my stream. I can do what I want. Imagine, imagine somebody joining my stream just to hear me making, like, a 60-second long fart noise. This is not what I normally do, but sometimes... I, 
I, I have... Mm, no, no. That joke is too dumb even for me to make. How does Fa fare? Well, I guess we don't know. Does he still only have one range? If he can't attack at a distance, then, uh... This is gonna be embarrassing. Okay! Yeah, he can't attack at a, at a distance. That's, uh, really embarrassing. Alright, so Yan definitely seems tougher than your average bear. Hey, boo-boo! Let's see how Roy fares. Not great with the sealed sword. Actually, Roy's gonna need a little bit of help! <laughs> okay, I know what I'm gonna do. Roy's gonna attack, Fock and finish him off. Or, or vice versa. Let's see how Fa fared. Fa might one round him. Oh yeah, Fa one rounds him. Okay, I actually don't want to do that then. Uh. Ah. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> but that would have been funny. <laughs> All right, Sophia, here, take a shot at him. One thousand years. My strength has long recovered. I can feel it. Well, he gets his own battle music, which is cool. But he looks exactly like all the other mannequins. Cool boss music. But again, I wish he would have unique animations. That would have made it a lot better. Alright, let's kill him. Binding Blade! Oh, get wrecked! Roy crits with that all the time. Take that. So I have lost. Humans are truly unpredictable. Wow. Disappointing boss. Like, I like this exposition, but... Really, Roy? <laughs> and once again, it's just not over until we can seize the Dane throne. Literally every chapter has been a seize the throne chapter. That's funny. In the next chamber lies the dark dragon. Roy? What's wrong, Fa? You look like you're about to burst into tears. Is... is Fa also an enemy? Huh? When... when Fa gets big, will Fa become a bad dragon too? Wait, Fa. Tell me what you want to say, slowly. That man said so. Dragons and people can't live together. But you were living in the bottom with people, weren't you? But the Dark Dragon is a divine dragon like Fa is. And you're going to fight the Dark Dragon, right? What about Fa? If Fa grows up and becomes like the Dark Dragon, then... You don't have to worry about that. Even if you grow up, you'll always be Fa. You'll always live together with humans and with us. Really? Sure! And also, I actually want to help the Dark Dragon. Help? The Dark Dragon is not acting on her own will. She had her soul destroyed. I... I don't want to kill her if I can avoid it. Oh, is this going to be a, like one of those Fire Emblem Awakening themes where it's like, Are you going to let Roy get the finishing blow with the Binding Blade? <laughs> Fa doesn't get it. You'll understand when you get a little older. She's like, I'm 5,000, doofus! <laughs> Hartmut posed a question, and I'll give an answer to it. Well, I'm sorry, but... There we go. Alright. Final! Beyond the Darkness! Okay, we're finishing it tonight. I don't care if this is the longest chapter in the game, we're, we're finishing it tonight. Final, Beyond the Darkness. Whoa, everyone just appeared in. Ooh. Music box. You're the Dark Priestess. No, the Dark Dragon. Why do you hinder my path? What? I have been commanded to lead this world. I shall make the world a better place. Why are you barring my performance? You are wrong. You were only told the world would become a better place. 
The person who ordered you is already dead. So stop! You no longer have any reason to fight! You. No, we. We have no reason to fight. A long time ago, I have a feeling I heard those same words. Soft words, like a warm breeze. But that was long ago. I have been asleep for too long. In the darkness I was dreaming. An empty dream, white, colorless. But now I am awake. His Majesty willed me so. I didn't know that's how it worked. It's just like, man, I kind of, I want the Dark Dragon to come back. Your wish is granted. Ah, oh, sweet! Can you bring me some Cheetos too? Yes. <laughs> majesty. Zephiel! I have woken. I am no longer who I used to be. I now clearly understand what I must do. This is beautiful music right here. Oh! There she is without the hood. You got different colored eyes, which look a little weird. I must lead this world. No matter how many days or nights pass, I must. I must. You insist on fighting us? As long as you stand in my path. Such strong will. His Majesty wishes it to be, and I was woken to answer His Majesty's calls. Oh boy! It's dragon time! Do we have to fight? Whew. Now there's something you don't see- <laughs> Now there's something you don't see every day! <laughs> Saint Elamine, give us strength! Father, watch over us. Let there be peace in your dying heart. I will not lose for the troops back in Burn. For Gale. I can sense a sad heart. <sighs> oh, give me a break. <laughs> it begins. I will not give up. I have the sword of Hartmut, who pitied you and did not kill you. Everyone. Leave the final blow to me. Oh, yep, sure enough, it is like Awakening, where it's like, are you going to kill the final boss with Krom? Or with the tactician? It's like, why in the world would you ever let Krom get the final... Did anybody on their first playthrough actually let Krom get the final kill, or the final blow, and be like, yeah, this will definitely be the good ending? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm, I, I will do my best. <laughs> it depends on how hard the boss is. I don't know. I have heard... I don't know for sure. I have heard people say that the final boss of Spyro Emblem 6 is a laughable joke. So, here we go. Well, there's free enemies. We got two war dragons. Okay. And then we've got Idun. Ooh, she looks scary with dark breath. Powerful attack. The dark dragon that was feared by humans during the Skyrim. She got 78 HP. Okay, that's almost half the amount that the final boss of Fire Emblem 7 had. Those are some, like, good stats, but not, th this shouldn't be too hard. Ah, this shouldn't be too hard. Alright, Trek. Nah, we're going in all the way. Kill her last Trek, nah. <laughs> so let's just take out the Manakeets first. <laughs> You're all the luck. Uh, well... I don't know if I'll need luck. This doesn't seem like it'll be too hard. Woo woo! Aww. The dragon was so sad. What's the world coming to that four boys doesn't just one hit kill? Wow, Apocalypse doesn't one-hit kill! What's the world coming to? How about Malt at? Or the Malt Shop? Beep beep. I don't like that 5% crit. Okay. <laughs> Me have idea! We share KO! <laughs> Sophia weakens him. Lelina finishes it off with four blades. Okay, this is, this is one strong dragon. <laughs> I should just do an all-night stream where my stream is blank, but you still get channel points if you watch it. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't wait for the final boss. 
How would that be possible? Huh? All I have to do is leave OBS running with streaming. It's literally all I have to do. I'm not gonna do it though, because you gotta you gotta work for the Artie Bucks. Also, can I Oh <laughs> Wow! I do this two movement. How embarrassing. That's that's actually just laughable. Just like real life, you gotta work for the money. Alright, I gotta see. Okay, wow, that's a no that's a lot of damage. How about the worm slayer? <laughs> okay. So it might be like only the binding blade can actually deal damage. Well Oh! Ambush spawns so soon? You tried to snipe Elfin for a cheeky KO. But I'm not gonna let that happen. I don't know if Twitch would allow that. All I have to do is play background, like, ran, uh, my music playlist in the background and just be... It's like a music stream. Every so often you get a pre-recorded message of me just being like, This is a reminder that I am still here and I am still streaming. Take that, Twitch. There are also people who stream themselves sleeping, which, like, don't do that. Alright. Let's start. Okay, that's a cool-looking boss. That's also an epic boss battle theme. Wow, that's epic. Don't like that 10% crit, though. How does Faw fare? What the butts? <laughs> Dane Fa. That's crazy. How does Deke fare with the Durandel? Oh, really well, but he has that crit chance. Okay. Actually, no. If I if I do that and fall crits, then it's bad news bears time. Can Shrek use a hand? No, he can't. Give it up, Artie. Here we have we have Elfin who can dance. Thanks for levitating me up here, so I can attack you. Show me your attack, I doon. Alright! Nice effort, but we're we're gonna kill ya. I mean, we're gonna not kill ya. Goodbye, I doon. Wow, that was way easier than the Fire Emblem 7 final bosses. <laughs> Goodbye! That's game. Or unless she has a second form. I... I... Uh, I alone, dark, alone in darkness. Well, dang, she had one of my favorite Fire Emblem Final Boss themes. That was really cool. She has multiple attack animations that play randomly. Interesting. I only saw one. Epilogue XX. Oh, we didn't get to bring Bart Ray Armads in. Oh, she's a green unit now. Ah! What's happening? The temple's starting to collapse! Everyone, hurry outside! If only we hadn't gone down a mile of hallway and left all those mannequins still alive in the hallway. Roy! I know. Leave the rest to me. Now go! Did you just leave her in there? Master Roy, you are all right. Yes, but the temple is gone. Did it sink into Sabrosia? It is over a thousand years old, and a lot of energy was released in the battles just fought. The building probably couldn't withstand it. I see. So times are changing again, and... Who is that you are carrying on your back? Her? Oh, right. Merlinus, I need to ask something of you. <laughs> I have something to ask of you. And thus, the battle known as the Great Movement of Burn was resolved. 
Is it just going to end like that with no real closure on any of this? After Burns' surrender, Etruria dismantled its government. As in Etruria's government or Burns' government? But after careful consideration, avoided directly administering its reconstruction. With Roy's help, Guinevere took the throne! Yay! And the new kingdom of Burn was established. So, the super crud butt King Desmond got exactly what he wanted, basically. Zephiel's dead, and his illegitimate daughter's on the throne now. And on the day of her crowning... The long months of war came to a close. I mean, is there anybody left in Burn? We, like, massacred them for that game. There are definitely no more Wyvern Riders alive, except for Milady. And Zeus, I guess. Princess Guinevere is to be crowned today. I haven't seen her in her royal garments yet. She must look beautiful beyond words. Bro, your girlfriend is literally the person you're talking to right now. Even when I first met her, I couldn't believe that such a beautiful person existed. Bro, shut up! <laughs> yes. <laughs> but the princess's hardships are still to come. What? Even if she becomes Queen of Burn with Etruria's help, I'm sure there will be a lot of rebellion and unrest. Do you think so? I think that there might be people who will say that the Princess Guinevere joined Etruria just to seize the throne. She'll have to face them. But I think Princess Guinevere will be fine. And then Burn will become a much better nation than before. She's just so smart and strong that- Okay, hey Aloina, your boyfriend is right here. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> but Guinevere will remain single for her life. What are you going to do now? Me? I'll return to Foray. I'm worried about my father's illness, and we'll have to start rebuilding the lands that were trampled on by the war. <laughs> Look, I know I know Guinevere is a pretty cool person, but even if you like are just complimenting her as a friend, like you, sh you should watch what you say. <laughs> um, I. What? Um, nothing. So you're returning to Foray. What about you? You're going back to Ostia, right? Yes, I must take my father's place. I'm glad to hear that you'll be staying in Ostia. Why? Because if you're in Ostia, then I can go meet you anytime I want. What? Melina, I don't know when, but someday, I'll go pick you up. I... I have to prepare to... Is that your way of proposing? <laughs> one day, I'll pick you up. It's like, like f for a date? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, p I'll pick you up in my pickup truck. <laughs> but, Roy, I always... Oh! The ceremony's starting! Come on, Melina, we have to go see Princess... I mean, Queen Guinevere! Really? I get... Pay our respects. So I always... What?! Roy, wait for me! A-plus romance writing. Later in Arcadia... Ah, oh, Master Roy, it's been a long time. I had business in these areas, so I decided to stop by on the way. What, you, what the heck do you even mean? Arcadia's in the middle of a flippin' desert. You don't just be like, I was just in the neighborhood, decided... Like, no, you gotta make a blatant out-of-your-way trip to Arcadia. Also, hey, it's Barley again. <laughs> Far will be glad to see you. I saw her earlier. She's as, she is as en energetic as ever. She's being allowed outside more these days. Perhaps that is why. How is the girl I sent here doing? We succeeded in restoring her soul, but how? You don't just find a backup soul. You can't just pick up a soul at the at the Walmart. Like, those things co souls cost thousands of dollars. <laughs> she still won't go back to normal. Fa sometimes takes her outside, but she won't try to do anything on her own. I see. Master Roy... We knew that the girl you sent here was captured by the dragons. Still, we did not try to rescue her. We feared that our kind would be in danger if we showed ourselves in front of them again. But now I wonder whether my judgment was correct. Perhaps it is because we have begun to live with humans. I will make my best efforts to bring the girl's heart back fully. Thank you. As a first, I would like to see some sign that her emotions are working. Like laughing or crying or something. So so we punch her until she cries. That's probably not the best way of doing it. Oh look, she's a shaman just like a Sophia is. And that is called a tree! Tree. Right! And that tree gives yummy fruit. Fruit? 
Yes! Can you see? It's at the top! And if you shake the tree like this... Ow! It fell on Fa's head! Hmm? Did you just laugh? Laugh? This is to laugh? Where's Roy? Fa has to... What's with this weird scrolling? Tell Roy that I do laughed! Like, are they talking... <laughs> okay, that was adorable. <laughs> that coconut that fell on Fa's head dealt more damage than any enemy ever did to her in this entire Let's Play. A warm breeze. Aw, that was a cute ending. I aw, that's that's adorable. I I'm glad that I felt bad for Idun, so I'm glad that she gets a happy ending. Although she probably doesn't in the bad ending. The exciting thing about winning is when you win. I love that feeling. Yes, but this victory did not come without costs, as I'm sure we're going to get into, either right now or very soon. Well, I finally did it. I finally finished Fire Emblem Six. Probably still my least favorite Fire Emblem game I've played because of those ambush spawns. Oh boy! <laughs> Roy returned home to rebuild the lands in Lysia that were trampled by the war. People always seemed to like him, and he left behind many legends during the course of his life. Did he not even get the parent ending with Alina even though I got the A for support? They supposed to get married! What do you mean we had a rage-inducing moment? There were a lot more than just one. <laughs> oh, it's Fa! After returning to Nevada, Fa was never heard of again. What? That's dark. Many historians today voice their skepticism whether she really existed at all. No, I want her to explore the world more. She's got, like, tens of thousands of years ahead of her. Tycho Kanata. <laughs> Follow that fa. <laughs> Face design. Very important job. Graphic Chief. Masahiro Higuchi. It's Deke! He never lost a battle, ever. Deke broke up his mercenary band and set out to travel on his own. After that, he continued to participate in various battles. He left many legends behind in his wake. <laughs> oh yeah! There is great art. Um... I can't remember which one it was. AI program, Chikara Yamamoto. Ellen! Ellen returned to burn with Guinevere to rebuild a land ravaged by war, and to reunite a people devastated by defeat. Her hard work and kind-hearted nature earned her the title, the Saint of Burn. Ah, way to go, Ellen. You're a sweetheart. She also has a sweet new Ariola tome that she used to murder anybody who stood in her way. <laughs> Did we return the divine weapons back to their rightful place? Nope. <laughs> she had one loss. It's Lelina! She died more than twice, I think. After returning home, Lelina became the Marquess of Ostia and married Roy! Yay! A short time, a short while later. Together, Roy and Lelina united Lycia and created the Kingdom of Lycia, a nation blessed with prosperity and harmony. Aw, yay! Not even the game can decide. I don't know what determines whether they have a loss. Generally, if you have a loss in battle, it's because you died. Does, does it remember when I reset? That's scary. Elfin! After the war, Elfin disappeared without a trace. Several months later, an official announcement was made in Etruria that Prince Mildane was still alive. Well, that's great, but where's Elfin? 
You don't think they could be the same person, could they? <laughs> oh! Ellen with one L or two. Okay, I get ya. I thought you were talking about the loss counter on, for the battles. Oh, that was weird. Milady returned home with Guinevere to help rebuild the new Kingdom of Burn. Where have I heard this before? Her unbending will and hard work earned Guinevere due respect, and Burn began to regain its former prosperity. Nice job, Milady. You were a ridiculously kick butt unit. I I bet you she's high up on pretty much every tier list. She's a flying unit that kicks butt. Give her the Delphi Shield and she like she can't die. <laughs> Unless you put her in front of a bunch of magic units. Oh man, this is going to take a while to get through all of our units. There are so many. And they're doing it real slowly. Sophia, yay! 207 battles. After returning to Nevada, Sophia disappeared. No! There are no records of what happened to Nevada after the war, so no one knows how Sophia led her life from then on. No! She deserved a happy ending! She, like, m slaughtered hundreds of units. She literally saved the world. She became super powerful and made friends, and, and then she, nothing happens? <laughs> what the heck? No, this is... This is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. You, you know what I have to say? <laughs> oh, it's Trek! Trek remained in Zealot's group, where he continued to fight as a mercenary. Although he was sleeping half the time in battle, he would always demolish all those who dared stand in his path. These are terrible. Where are we with these endings? You know what I say to this? Bow. 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 <laughs> Star Trek is so good he beats enemies in his sleep. But, like, all these people, it's like, they disappeared and were never heard of again. After the war, Rutger disappeared. What is with this? Many claimed that they had seen him around Alib, but none of them had any solid proof. Today, his name appears only You're in lovely. records of this war. Oh, yeah. I can, I can redeem my own alerts. In fact, I'll do... You, you, you want to know what else I can do? I got the power for that. Oh, wow. Artie redeemed the Artie face reveal. Uh, Artie, would it be okay if I just didn't re uh, reveal my face? Oh, he said it's fine. Okay, cool. <laughs> Don't have to do the face reveal after all. <laughs> Thanks, Artie. Oh, the Smash Bros. team! That's right, Roy originated in Smash Bros. Quite literally. <laughs> Ooh, that's a cool... That's a cool pose. Roy vs. Zephiel. The Super Mario Club! When am I gonna hear about all my other units? I don't use my own sound alerts, except, like, again, I think that's, like, my, the only time I have. It was too perfect to not do it. Atsushi Takeda. I have a lot more units than this. Oh, is that Guinevere being crowned the queen? Um, I have a lot more units that we need to hear about. Did Lot go home to his little sister and buy her presents? <laughs> Lot got... <laughs> we, we actually just left Lot behind at the gas station. Oh, no. Oh, no. Chapter 1, two, two, uh, watch these turn counters skyrocket at certain points. Yikes. All of these massive turn levels, remember, I was grinding supports for many turns. T 
two turns for the final chapter. Beautiful. <laughs> I like this stream too. That was a good ending to the game. Oh boy. C in tactics. I'm kind of surprised. A in I what? D in exp. C in weapon. A in time. What? I call BS on a lot of this. <laughs> what do you mean an A? What do you mean A survival rank? Have we have we forgotten all of the people who gave their lives to make us get to the end of the game? We lost some good friends along the way. We lost Alan. We lost Sue. We lost Shin, even though we never actually recruited him. We lost Hugh. We lost Gonzalez. We lost I Green. It was... it was bad. But they're still like, nah, you get an A. You get the best score for survival. I mean, I won't argue with a B overall. Did it? Oh, here we go. Now we're getting into the others. Became an Aturian ambassador. Klein. Disappeared if I... What is with this? This is literally just like, this person disappeared. And this person disappeared. Everyone disappeared. Hey, it's Lance. Helped rebuild Foray. Opened a small bar. Good job, bar. Trey. Clarine, returned to Etruria. Didn't she marry Rutger? Nope, was home. Returned home and was knighted. These are lazy. Percival, rose to the top of his military. Douglas, retired to live peacefully. That's good, Hagrid. Zealot, helped rebuild Ilya. I Green, died Chapter 16X. Title 1. Whatever th that means. Lot. Returned home to live happily. Gonzalez died chapter 13. That was the ba That was the saddest death, was Gonzalez. I would have used him so hard if he had stayed alive. Chad. Worked to help orphans. Tate. I forgot about Tate. Became the new flight leader. These are... There are no paired any... Oh, yeah, barf! Rebuilt the Ostian army. Ward developed the Western Isles. Ah, uh, I also regret that we couldn't use Barf. Noah set out to test his strength. Alan died chapter 8. Due to a horse slayer I, that I didn't realize was a thing. Sue died chapter 8 to a killer lance. Boars work to rebuild Ostia. That's because these characters either died before you started watching the streams, or I just never used Marcus. Enjoyed retired life. Walt! Who is he? <laughs> you must be mistaken. I never had anybody named Walt in my party. He never did anything. Lou! Built a school for orphans. By himself as a kid, Saul became a missionary to pick up hot babes. Dorothy! Returned to her old life. Became a dinosaur. Wendy, lived as an armor knight, opened a burger joint. OJ, traveled as a mercenary. Fur, kept training. Oh yeah, this game has way too many units. Geese, <laughs> reopened his trade routes. Spray, traveled the world. <laughs> Cecilia, worked to rebuild Etruria. Garrett, led a normal life. Good on you, buddy, for not going out and robbing villages anymore. Hugh died chapter 16, but he gave us his member card. Zeus helped Guinevere rebuild Burn. Nime, disappeared in the mountains. Well, what a surprise. You know, worked on the Pegasus Knights. That's okay, Hugh fulfilled his purpose. He gave us the member card. Calf traveled the world as a thief. Yodel spread the word of Elamine in song. <laughs> Shut up, Yodel. Carl retired to a village in Bern. Yay, Carl! Finn. We didn't even hear about Shin, because we never got him. Alright, there we go! 
Now we have the extras! Trial map? Link Arena! Oh, yes! We're making a team. Alright, who should we include? Alright, we should include our best units. So definitely Sophia. Where's Lelina? Definitely Lelina. Maybe Ellen. Deacon Rutger? Maybe? No, okay. We have too many magic units, so... It's not over yet. I got it. Okay, here. Maybe I'll do this off stream because we can make teams out of the units that we have and then make them fight each other. Okay. Maybe not Ellen. Not Ellen. She won't be good enough at combat. So we'll take D. We'll take all those. I mean, Milady is probably an obvious choice. Uh, should we have Lelina? I kind of want Trek on the team as well, but... Nah, this, this should be fine. Let's just make sure that you have a... Let's make sure you have the Woe Dao equipped. I'll give you the white brand, I guess, as well. go. And we'll call this team... <laughs> oh, man. We give the team a name. <laughs> We're calling them... Oh. Calling them the winners. How about winners with an H? <laughs> Not the winners, the winners. And we can make another team out of the people who did not make the cut. Can we wait, can we have Fa in the... That would be kind of nuts. So for this team, we'll do Ellen, Trek, Bart Ray... Uh, who else? Roy. And if... Oh... We can't take Fa because apparently that doesn't count as a weapon. And I guess Klein. <laughs> this something tells me this team's not nearly as good as the other one, but I never got a brave sword. I just realized. Give me the malt shop. Give me the Durandel. All right. <laughs> There we go, that should be good. And now we'll call this team... <laughs> the Losers. <laughs> Alright, now we'll practice. I'm gonna be the winners, and then we have the Losers. <laughs> Here we go, we can make them fight. Say goodbye, Klein. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Easy win. I think the only one who's going to cause us issues is going to be Roy. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that's a... <laughs> that's a powerful magic tome you have there. <laughs> Dane, that's right. Legendary weapons just murdered with urns. Forgot about that.
All right, all right, we got some options. Dude. I gotta get Ellen out of there. She's too powerful. <laughs> hey, you don't have to... You don't have to compliment me like that. You, you don't have to... Fi Whoa! He dodged pure light. Take that, Ellen. You're a loser. We a winner. Get point. How come they have... How come they have more points than I do? Oh, it's weird seeing Roy as an enemy. Why would you do that, Roy? Like, why would you do that? <laughs> you are so dead. <laughs> you are so dead. <laughs> Roy's like, I know what I'll do. I'll attack Rutger. How could this go wrong? Boom, 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 boom. Bye, Bart Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I may have put all of the really good units on the winner's team. <laughs> Bye, Bart Ray. So long, Woody! <laughs> Alright, who's Trek gonna attack? If he's really stupid, he'll attack one of my magic units. Oh look, he's attacking Rutger. Actually, that's probably not a bad idea. Rutger is injured and can't do a whole lot of damage to Trek. Well, actually, he can because he's gonna crit twice and actually get a perfect kill. Yep, bye- Bye, Trek! <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that cheating? I don't know. Is it? Points will now be distributed. The losers and the winners. And the winner has the winners have best girl as their mascot. There's a tutorial and the sound room. Aww! That's so cute! That's fun! And I do! And I smile and having a fun time! Aww. Oh, cool! Now we can listen to the soundtracks. Uh. Nice. Love that one. Also love that music. Oh, there was some good music in this game. For sure. Oh, that's also cute. Hector and Ellawood with Roy and Molina. Oh, that's so cute. We got some cute art in this. So, alright. This game definitely got better in the later part of it. But I definitely felt like there were a lot of maps where it was just very long and tedious. And they spammed way too many enemies. Again... You shouldn't have to spam, like, a massive amount of enemies. Like, just make tough enemies. And also, ambush spawns are BS. Never have those in a Fire Emblem game. Honestly, if they had this game exactly, just remove ambush spawns, it would be so much better. Like, so much better. Like, good grief, it would be so much better. I also felt like the story fell down a little bit. Like, there was a lot of stuff where it could have been really, really good. Like, there's some semblances of real brilliance in here could have been an amazing story, but they just kind of decided to be like, nope, it's just you fight, you fight, you fight, you fight. They didn't really do anything with Zephiel, which was a shame, because I wanted him to be a better villain, but alas. There were still some fun parts. I really liked training up the units. Like, the units that you got in the game were really cool, and I liked using them, with a few exceptions. But, like, man, there was just, there was just a lot of issues with this. That's a good one. And yeah, so that's Fire Emblem 6, I guess. I mean, again, I still enjoyed playing this, but man, there was a lot of frustrating parts in this game. And if I, if I want to play GBA Fire Emblem again, I'm going to do Fire Emblem 7 or Secret Stones. I probably will not come back to this one. Maybe I'll try out Fire uh, Project Ember on my own time on a future time, because I've heard that's good and I've heard it fixes a lot of issues, but that won't be for a while, and I probably will not stream that. So... Looks like that's it for Fire Emblem 6! This weekend, we'll be continuing Pikmin 2. I'm pro We probably will not finish this weekend, but we're gonna get close at the very least. I mean, there's a I guess there's a chance we can finish this- Well, finish the main story this weekend.
this weekend, I suppose. But we still have challenge mode after that. And then, starting next week, starting next Monday, we'll be doing a brand new stream series. We're going to be doing Hollow Knight. It's going to be a lot of fun. I've heard nothing but amazing things about that game. It's going to be awesome. And I know a lot of people have been looking forward to that. So it's, it's going to be good times. It's going to be fun times. Thank you all for joining in. Especially those of you who joined in for basically the whole series. This was definitely a fun game to stream. Glad I finally went around to beat it. It's another, another game in my hat, I suppose you could say. So, in the meantime, I guess I'll end the stream there and look forward to having seven hours of meetings at work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you all for joining in. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless. Take care, everybody. <laughs>